today from Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Matt Ryan and the Indianapolis Colts taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today, it is the opener of the 2024 NFL season, as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Indianapolis Colts. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gauden, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's... Just about set for football. The veteran Matt Gay has it teed up, and we are underway now at Lucas Oil Stadium. He takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So here come the Patriots getting ready on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Now Jones. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Throwing Jones. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. A 46-yard punt, a four-yard return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. As we get a peek at Matt Ryan, a man who's been in the league since back in 2008. And I think if there's one quarterback in the league who sometimes gets taken for granted, to me it's Matt Ryan because I think throughout his career, he's been consistently excellent. Frequent member of the 4,000-yard club, savvy veteran, knows how to throw the deep ball and create big plays, and yes, he will beat you from the pocket. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Hardy, and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Hardy, and he is going to have a Colts first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Up the middle they go. Hardy fighting his way through contact. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 
That good for 19 and a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Here's Ryan to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. Pushing his way through. Now he's loose down the left sideline. He's on his way. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Ramondre Stevenson. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Patriots will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Extra point by Ryland up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Ryland now following the touchdown. Back out to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Hardy, and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So they need two. Here's third down. From the shotgun, Ryan. Open man, he's got Doolin. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Hard to believe this guy was watching us from his living room last week. Now he's under center here for an NFL team. And not many teams were in the market to sign him, but you have to believe that this team felt like we saw something previously in this guy, and now he has a chance to prove it with us. They'll run on first down. It's Hardy. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Awesome. 
So a decent gain there on the play, but that all gets wiped out with a penalty. Well, that's a setback, but all the good play callers, they just move on. They find something else in the playbook. They can attack this defense, and they go right back on the offensive on this play. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. On first down, Hardy. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Hardy, and he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots' 30. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Ryan. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. They'll try and run for it. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. And hindsight 2020, I think they probably should have gone for the field goal, right? The three points would look really good right now. But I think what we just saw there, analytics really starting to creep into the game because more and more teams are saying the more you go for it, the better your odds of getting it, the better your odds of scoring six points instead of three. They took a chance there. It just didn't pay off. Yeah, right here, the anti-analytics guys go thumbs up. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again. Jones. He'll find his tight end. It's Adam Troutman. Here is third down and four. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. A big play there. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Patriots lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. All you hear from coaches and personnel directors in the NFL, how difficult it is for a rookie receiver to have an impact on the game. So much to learn, so much offense to absorb. Looks like he's picking it up pretty well. I would say so. And how about that for your first career NFL touchdown? I don't know that he envisioned it quite that way, but if he was smart, he probably dreamed about it a little bit. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He was off to a very hot start here in this first quarter, but did have the fumble last drive. Now we'll see if the psyche kicks in here and which side it kicks in on. And I know we're going to focus on him because he's having a good half, just dropped the ball, and he's having a really nice game. But I'm going to take the defense's perspective here. They're thinking now he's dropped one. Let's attack him and see if he'll do it again. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Up the middle they go. It's Hardy. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Now it's Ryan. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it. Occasionally, you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. On first and ten, it's Ryan. It's hauled in by Hardy. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. First 
They'll run on first down. Hardy. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now Ryan. And this one complete to Dooley. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 30. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Hardy, and he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. 70 yards for him on the ground in his first quarter. He has been tremendous to start the new year. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and 10. Now Ryan. Over the middle, it's complete. And the Colts are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Now it's Ryan. His pass caught at the four. Touchdown! Jaquan Hardy, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts have cut it back within a score. CD, you know he's got great options of wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made him pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield. They're eligible too. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to 7. 10 play drive that time. And the result for the Colts is a touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Now this offense in mid-season form here in the opener. It's first and 10. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. From the 44-yard line, here's second and six. On the counter, it's Stevenson. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Operating from the gun, Jones. And this is going to be incomplete. Here's Bryce Barringer now. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. 
A long drive last time out. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And this will be gathered up in the end zone. And that's a defensive touchdown. That's something you have to be wary of on your side of the field, that close to the goal line. The defense, they are looking for that football. They got it. They scored it. You are so right, and the quarterback has to speed things up himself. So close to the goal line, they're going to get after you. Make sure you get rid of the football and in a safe place. Ryland on for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And they'll get him down inside the 30th to 27. Well, the Colts now, they're ready to get the football back. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it, but you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. They'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. Now Ryan on second down. A short throw pulled in by Woods. Two yards on the pickup there. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Ryan. The Pets are going to get there. Down he goes. Christian Barmore getting in there to drop him. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so he can throw the football. And here's Daniel Whelan on now to punt. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Jones breaking from the contact. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the Patriots take over. New England's offense set to go. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Jones throwing on first down. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Second down and eight. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. They'll look to throw again. Over the middle complete. That's Stevenson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. 
They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. to So three points there, and they continue to build this first-half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And the Colts getting ready to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. New England on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and three. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Up the middle they go. It's Hardy. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Here's second and seven. Ryan. A short throw pulled in by Woods. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Al Ryan on first down. Looking for Woods again, and he finds him. Just a gain of a couple there, and it'll be second down. Now a handoff up the middle. Hardy, and he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots' 35. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. A throw on the money there to Doolin. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 25-yard line. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't caught their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Throw on first down with Ryan. Throwing middle, and it's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. To throw is Ryan. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Throwing again, Ryan. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. This one from 35 yards away. And Gay knocks this one through, and that will close the gap down to 14.
So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, Barton, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Straight ahead at Stevenson. Fights him off. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. Second down and three. Off the play fake. Jones. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense could get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up with a first and goal. Back to throw. Jones. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Quiddy Pay getting in there and burying him behind the line. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Jones now going to throw on third and goal. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster, complete. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Here's Chad Ryland now on for the field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. 
87 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first down. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Here's Ryan. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Ryan. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw again is Ryan. He goes once again right back to Hardy, and he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Options galore here, second and a few inches. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On second down, here's Ryan. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they are going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. From the red zone now, here's Ryan on first down. This is caught. Touchdown, Colts! Alec Pierce, an 18-yard touchdown, Bram. And the Colts get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in a second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. Gay is on for the point after. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown catch from Alec Pierce. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Here's Jones, throwing to start the drive. Wide open receiver complete. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the 45 on second down, Jones got Stevenson again, back-to-back -back plays. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off play action, Jones. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, this from 53. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it online, but it comes up about a rotation short. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL.
Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. We saw a solid first half from the Oklahoma man, Ramondre Stevenson. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they still got a shot. And even 100 yards for him on the ground now on that, his 20th carry of the ball game. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just this series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Hardy. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Here's Ryan. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. On first down, it's Hardy. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. So from the 37, here's a second down and four. Up the middle they go. Hardy, and this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Looking to throw. Ryan looking middle, and that's complete. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Here's second and three. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Hardy. Now he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Back to throw, Ryan. And that's caught by the tight end, Granson. So five yards here, five on the play. And now we've got a third and four. Looking to throw, Ryan. He's got Granson, his tight end. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. 
It'll be a loss of two on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Gay's kick is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to keep the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way, but you're not counting on it. That's exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn, can't miss your opportunity. Yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. 107 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Back to Stevenson on first down. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. They run once more with Stevenson. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Throwing on second and long. Jones, he'll dump this down to Stevenson. Will go down as a gain of six. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Now Jones. That's complete to Troutman right side. And this won't be enough. A good secured tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. From the gun, it's Ryan. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Here's Ryan to throw. A short throw pulled in by Woods. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Get, get, get. 
They'll run on first down. It's Hardy. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here's a second and nine now for the 29. Brian. He'll get the hook up there to Woods. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. Back to throw. Ryan firing quickly here, and that's complete. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Second and six. They go play action now. Ryan, he'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Ryan will throw again. That is caught. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 41-yard line. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Up the middle they go. Hardy. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now it's Ryan. Caught by Woods. Third and three. Now Ryan. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass, use his blockers well, and pick up the first down. the middle. It's Hardy. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Hardy. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 19-yard line. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, Hardy. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now they'll throw it with Ryan. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Now Ryan. That's complete to Pierce. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Third and four. Now it's Ryan. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets 
the first. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. You want to put together a long drive? You've got to be able to convert on third down, and they've done exactly that on this one. Sure enough, came up with another conversion right there. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. From the two now, second and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. Dietrich Wise running through and dropping him for the sack. Probably a little bit of a surprise call there on third and inches that they decided to throw the football. And how difficult is that for an offensive line when they look up and see all those extra bodies coming at them? Tons of bodies coming in. They get a huge sack there. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. Touchdown! Jelani Woods from four yards out. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. What a start to the season. This has been back and forth. All tied fourth quarter as the kick is away here. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. New England trying to get a place on offense. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Throwing Jones. His throw incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. Off the play fake. Jones. And that almost their first INT in the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Now Jones to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded at the 20. there but also a nice return of 12 yards and that will come the offense as they take over Indianapolis offense ready to go again excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter on first and ten it's Ryan quick hitter here it's complete and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44 just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. And that is incomplete. Now a second and ten. Up the middle they go. It's Hardy. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. This now a third and four. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And he's brought down short. Two yards there. Needed four. 
Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. They'll try and run for it and try to push his way forward, but I think he's going to be short, and he is short. He needed two. He only got one, and the Patriots' defense is going to take over on down. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. A short one to the tight end, Troutman. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and seven. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Now second and three. On the handoff, Stevenson. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Jones on first and 10. Into the hands of Smith-Schuster on the crossing pattern. And down inside the 15 he goes. Jones now on first down. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. Well, we all know possessions are crucial in a tie game. And let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. On second down, it's Stevenson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. Back to throw. Jones. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Juju Smith-Schuster. A five-yard touchdown. And the Patriots have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. It's hauled in by Hardy. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right. 
So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Looking to throw. Ryan. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. On first down, Ryan. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Second and 10. Again, Ryan. Yeah, this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. From the shotgun, Ryan. Complete over the middle to Hardy. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back, but how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? The Colts send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. New England's offense set to go. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's where they're going to ride. Now a throw here to his running back. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw, Jones checking this down to Stevenson. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Looking to throw. Jones over the middle, hauled in by Smith Schuster. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. Here's Jones throwing on first down. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. But looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Back to throw. Jones. That one complete to Parker. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. He was able to get away initially on that play, but ultimately not much space to roam. Great job there by them containing him because you mentioned 
He got away initially, and how many times does that end up with a guy taking off for 15 or 20 yards? Here, the support was there, and they made the tackle for a loss. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it, and that will extend their lead even further. That kick, by the way, Charles, a career long. Well, we did watch him in pregame, and he hit from this distance, so not a surprise. But there still is something exciting about it, carrying it over from practice and pregame to actually doing it in live action. So now Ryan and the Colts down by 10, a minute 55 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A quick throw, but incomplete. Well, this one's had a season's worth of thrills already, and it's still week one. Here's third down now. And a throw there going to be incomplete. This one, an absolute must. It's fourth and four. Here's Ryan. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Patriots take over, and they're going to have terrific field position. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none. Yes, exactly right. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here is third down and four. Again, it's Stevenson. And this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here's first and 10. To throw is Ryan. Got his man, it's Woods. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line. Here's first down. Here's Ryan. The pass caught by Hardy. Time of factor is Ryan will hustle him to the line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. A throw on the money there to Doolin. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 
That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. To throw again is Ryan. A short throw pulled in by Woods. One last shot for Ryan. Jackson's got it over the middle. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. And this is going to be caught. So it affects the final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. Won't be enough, but here's a final chance at the extra point. That one is good, but the final margin will be six as this one is over. Well, on the one side, if you try to take away something positive from this game, they played to the final whistle, getting the touchdown there on the last play, but still all for naught, really. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say give them points for positivity. I like that. That part is good. But I often wonder, when the game is settled and the clock is run out, do we really need to kick the extra point? Oh, yeah. It it's, just, it's silly. It's it, silly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know that people have explained before, well, you got to play it all the way through. Come on, this thing was done. So for the Pats, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Buffalo to take on the Bills. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.